Well, let's kvetch. Let's start. What it means to be a Jew is to is to mean that you have a purpose and meaning in life. It's everything. It's who I am. It's part of my DNA. It's my identity. I am a Jew. It's to ensure that we follow our religious practices completely. I'm going to be a Jew. It's something that I carry with me wherever I go and I breathe it in every cell of my body and that's what it is to be a Jew. To fulfill what Hashem wants from, uh, from us when He called it our ancestor and he, uh, gave Torah in the Hara Sinai. Being a Jew is a gift. The essence of my being, uh, it's, it's often faith in God, ultimate faith in God. Being a Jew to me is this daily connection to Hashem. To be a Jew make me a bad person. To view the world uh, that we were created by Hashem, that we have a role to play in making this world a world in which Hashem's presence is felt. Being Jewish um, comes with a lot of responsibility. A Jew is who I am, you know, that, that's who I am. I was born this way and this is, I have, I have obligations and, and that makes up every aspect of my character. We're Jews. We have to travel when we need to travel. We have a divine responsibility and we have an eternal responsibility to connect heaven and earth and to radiate that and to, and to make sure to, that everybody who sees us says, wow, this person is radiating something spiritual, something godly and something eternal. Nekama. What is revenge? Jewish revenge. We don't go fight. We don't go do something against someone. Nekama is when you come back to your heritage in a city that was decimated by the Nazis you stand as a proud Jew on Rosh Hashanah, on Yom Kippur, on Pesach, on Shavuos, and you say, I am a Jew, you sing, I'm Israel Chai, that's what it means to be a Jew. And we need to do good things to strengthen the weakest links in our society. Doesn't matter what our backgrounds are, whether we're observant or not, or uh, what hashkafa we come from, if it's, whether it is uh, Haredi, modern Orthodox, Chabad, Hasidic, whatever, wherever we're coming from, whether a person is affiliated or unaffiliated, religious or not religious, they, there is a sense that we are all Jews. And when we rally around our sacred divine values, then those differences melt away and we become unified as one. That we have a responsibility as Jews in this world to make a difference and to lead the way. We are the light, our nations. Being Jewish has always been a part of my life. It's to live in Israel today, but before to live in this, before to live today in this historical period of time is something which is a privilege that all our parents, all our ancestors could only dream to live in such an amazing period of Jewish history. We need to be able to hear what Hashem is telling us. We need to celebrate the fact that God put us here to fulfill and discharge His mission. We have a history. We have, an, we have a tremendous tradition. We're Jews. We weren't born yesterday, and we have a lot to show for it. Take a look, open a book, become acquainted. Talk to your rabbi, talk to your bookseller. There's a lot to learn, and you'll enjoy it. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. We will be Bnei Chorim. Amen. I think, I think it is helpful to be a person of, of faith. I want people to remember the Jews in a good way. I have gained an insight into people I probably would never have spoken to. And I will look at people now in a very different way. And to me that is an amazing achievement. I, I've spent a great deal of time uh, with members of the Israel Defence Force, um, mainly in Israel itself, but also elsewhere and I have the utmost respect and admiration for them, what they're doing. I'm the proud grandson of two, two Holocaust survivors and it was always made clear that without Israel we're, we're going back to the same situation. I think now it's more clear than ever. Stop trying to change the world. Just change one thing at a time. Every part of my life, you know, the synagogue has just been one constant that is there throughout. Uh, the Jewish community is very vibrant. Shul life was an intrinsic part of our life. Keep busy. I repeat, keep busy. We are much stronger together. Shabbos is part of my life. As I say, from my toddlers running behind them to school in Hackney to, to the present day. 
Shabbos is half of my life. Life is a great, glorious adventure. You can do all sorts of things. You just have to believe in yourself and really work. Children may mainly, mainly learn values or mid art from home. It's always good to give back if you can. And as much as I can and when I can, I think I'm the first to give back. And not only giving back does it help other people, but it gives you a fantastic, a fantastic feeling. These are the days we've been given and we will take as much joy and light and love out of them that we can. You have to have a degree of humility. Like when things are going well, Yes, there's gratitude. Yes, we're, we're happy and we're fortunate and it's wonderful, but you just kind of cherish that and you, you don't just take it for granted in a way and assume that that's how it's always going to be. People who are simple people, who want to be heroes, it's uh, praising the word, of the, the name of God by the work the Jews are doing. Try to work and include uh, everyone and all Jews. It's at the heart of what we do. But... I never miss a week. Uh, I love shul. I love going to shul. I love the people in shul. I love being surrounded by Jewish people. I think being positive is really, really important. Uh... If you find it difficult to motivate yourself to do something useful, then ask yourself the following questions. At the end of this week, what will I have accomplished? Will I have watched TV or will I have watched my actions? Will I have changed my hairstyle? Will I have changed someone's life? Will I have shared gossip? Or will I have shared knowledge? Will I have spent money on my kids? Or will I have spent time with them? It makes me realize how much I enjoy it and how big a part of my life it is. And I think that will be, you know, one of my uh, grandpa's legacies. I'm I'm a member of a covenant with God. I think being a Jew means being a light among the nations and being the good, the good in the world. But it's a way of living. It's, it's knowing that you can do better and you have to do better for the world. So really seeing Hashem's wonders in every way you turn is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, we get used to things in life and we take things for granted, but when they're not there, that's where we miss them, and the synagogue goes very high up on the list. Um, but I think we have to, I think we have to reach for the sun. A family of just openness and positivity. Try and remain positive, however difficult it is. There's nothing like living in Israel. It's a fantastic experience. Tzedek 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 is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a Jewish value uh, to seek justice. Everything I've ever done, I've I've enjoyed literally from day one. It would be much stronger and much better for it. You're brought up with Torah learning, but you have you have these principles. Where have the Jewish people come from? I'm proud to be the ambassador of the Jewish state here in the United Kingdom. The charity and volunteering was something I'd seen in my parents and my grandparents. Oh boy, but we are all created in the image of God, and and we have a mission here to be connected to your history, to your roots, to your family to your face and then you will be never alone and you will have enough strength to change the world. Welcome to the family. Uh, children of God, the name of Rabbi Sagbiakov. My request to you is one thing. The Shavu Vanim Nibunan. Come home.